Hi everybody. Progress report on the engine teardown. Pretty much everything's all apart now. You can see the uh, cross hatching on the bore still. And the piston rings, which fared really well, which were the total sill type. Ordered those from Summit. Ended up being really good. It doesn't look like those piston rings had any issue sealing and they look really good. Tops of the pistons you can see. Lots of oil burning. Little chunky deposits on there, so. Boards look good though. Rod bearings look good. On all of them. You gotta talk louder so you don't get copyright on the bony end. On the bony end? Heads here are all apart now. The uh, valves and everything have all been taken out. All the hardware has been organized into bags. Guides are worn. When I took the valves out, you can, when you can wiggle them back and forth a fair bit, uh, you know they're pretty screwed up. So, as I figured, that's what the that's what the reason the oil burning was. Oil pan still full of a little bit of goo. The block and crank. Um, and also the coolant into the oil was probably, I think, two of the six liners that the O-rings on the bottom were leaking. So that was probably the cause of the oil mixing with coolant for the vast majority. So at this point, then one more thing I noticed, I don't know if you can see down there, you can see a little bit of copper on the uh, main shells. Um, a little bit of wear on those compared to the rod bearings, which were basically wear-free. Have to look into that. But my 164S engine came, went and picked it up yesterday, I've already torn it down a fair bit. You can see the serial number on there, denotes it is a S engine, which is fantastic. So I've already pulled all the front wheel drive crap off it that I'm not going to use. And I'm going to start tearing this down for the liners and pistons and the cams. And to be very honest, I'm probably going to be using the block. From this as well because I didn't end up snapping into the water pump bolts which is nice and I um, have to decide what I want to do with the heads yet so got the intake plenum over here standard sort of stuff chrome runners you know the whole deal so yeah still taking stuff apart we'll see what we find inside of this engine we'll see what the mileage really was they claimed that uh, had like 150,000 miles uh, but they also claimed it was from a 91 which is also not sure it looks like it was probably a 92 or a late 92 or maybe even a 93 so we'll see what happens